What's going on guys? Welcome back to our Scooter Hut channel. Today we are giving you the first look at the new Scooter Hut Titanium bars that were literally just released a few days ago. These come in so many different sizes and so many different colors and the main thing we wanted out of these Scooter Hut Titanium bars was to be the most affordable tie bars on the market. We all want titanium and some of the bars get up to like $500. These Australian dollars start at about $169 and go up to about $189. I'll double check for the price and show you down here. But today, I'm going to show you how they work. I'm going to give you a little bit of a rundown of what sizes they come in, what colors they come in, and also just some compatibility stuff. So what we actually did to work with these titanium bars is we actually created our own universal IHC to HIC version shim. One of the main things with tie bars is most of them come in standard. We did ours in oversized with a slit, so they are perfectly compatible with all HIC completes. Envy's, Envy Prodigies and stuff like that, they all run IHC. So we wanted to cater to you guys as well, so that's why we created our own universal conversion shim. Let's just take a closer look and give you the proper rundown of everything. So as I was saying before, these bars are already completely HIC compatible. So if you guys are running HIC already, all you need is an oversized clamp and these bars already come with a slit, you just slide them straight on. But for an example of people running IHC, I'm gonna give you a rundown of how to use this shim and how to make these work. So firstly, if you are running IHC and want to run these titanium bars, the only thing you'll need is this. It is available online now. All you do is slide it straight over your IHC forks Use your normal IHC bolt that just screws right on top. Use your IHC cap as well. Mind this scooter. This is just our like demo scooter that we just keep around um, the scooter hut warehouse just to like test things on. Hence why there's no dust cap on it. There's no brick, no nothing. We're just this is our play scooter. We just stuff around with. So yeah, normally how you would put your compression together, all you do is just put the shim straight over, tighten it up, and normally you would have a dust cap here, uh, but we don't, <laughs> we don't need one. So this is your IHC, literally just converted into HIC, and all we need now is our oversized clamp, slid straight on our bars, and we're good to go. So one thing before I do put these bars on and show you guys how it all works, I do want to mention about these bars that they are pretty much compatible with every single compression. You can make it work. So they're already HIC compatible, so you just slide them straight on. With the converter, they are IHC compatible, so they work straight away. And also if you are running SES, all you need to do is buy an SES oversized bar adapter. We recommend our good friends Red Industries bar adapter. All you do is put that straight up the bars, that strengthens the slit, so you can literally run SES as well. So all three compressions can work with these bars, and we did put these through some pretty hectic tests. From Kevin Austin, all of our staff, we wanted to make sure that the bars that we were putting on the market were the strongest, most reliable, and most affordable bars. So we are so excited to bring these to the market. The Model T comes in 610 and 690. It also comes in black neochrome, chrome and they also come in neo blue neo gold and raw so you've got quite a large range of colors here for people who want just the basic t-bar design and then you've got the model s and the model y which also come in all of those colors the model s comes in 560 perfect for the smaller rider they also come in 610 which is this version here and 660 the model y also comes the same 560 610 and i think maybe 660 everything is online all the information all the specs all the colors these are all available to purchase now let's put our model t bars over our converter and i'm going to show you a little trick the easiest way to get your clamp over an oversized bar if you are having some issues. With these titanium bars, they are just a little bit thicker with the black coating on them, so you may have some issues with some clamps getting them on. I'm just gonna show you how to stretch your clamp just a little bit that will actually help you across the board with certain bars, certain clamps. Sometimes it's just that little bit too difficult to get your clamp over the bars. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to get it on easy as. Okay guys, so we've got our Root Industries Air double clamp here. It's a little bit damaged. This is just our written off one that we use just for examples and stuff like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm showing you how to stretch your clamp just the littlest bit. If I show you here, 
the bars don't actually go on snug. Sometimes some bars are the littlest bit thicker on the outside and they struggle to get the clamp over, especially being a brand new clamp which has not been used. Also another factor can be the paint. Sometimes the paint adds a layer of thickness on the outside and doesn't allow the clamp to go on really snug. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to stretch yours to get it over easier. All you'll need is a small cylinder shaped thing that's kind of have it has a thick piece like it's kind of thick a 20 cent coin works perfectly we do that in our shops and stuff like that this is just like an SES cap works perfect it's the perfect thickness so what you want is do the bottom one the bottom one is preferred so unscrew the bottom bolt all the way out until you're holding it in your hand and what you want to do is you want to put it backwards so you want to start screwing it in the littlest bit backwards when I can do it Start screwing that in backwards until you see it pop through the middle. And then what you want to do is once it is pushed through the middle, just the littlest bit, get to a point where the cylinder can get jammed in there. And then you want to tighten that with that in there. Hold the cylinder in place. So whilst this is jammed in there and the more you tighten it, it's actually stretching the clamp. But what you want to do is you don't want that to come in where the bar is going to go. So you want to make sure that's flush still, but this is jammed in. So now that that's stretched, just tighten that just a little bit more. And always do the bottom one as well and make sure that top bolt is loose so it can stretch the full way. Okie dokie. So, oh. I've just realized I've stretched the top part. <laughs> That's great. So you can stretch either one, but it's better to do the bottom one. So let's see if it works stretching the top part. Yep, see, easy as. So before it wouldn't go on. Now that we've stretched it a little bit, it's fine. So we're just gonna make sure that is straight for us. Just slide this over. Perfect. Make sure your clamp is nice and straight before you pull the coin out. Because the minute you pull the coin out, it's gonna be extremely tight and it's just gonna stick straight to your bars. And you'll have to re-stretch it if you need to reposition it. So that's straight enough for me. I'm literally gonna unscrew the coin. That's that done out. I'm gonna unscrew this little bolt here. Put it back the other way and then that's done. You would just tighten up your clamp like you normally would and off you go for a ride. So if you guys in general are having issues getting a clamp onto your bars because it doesn't fit or whatnot, or if you do buy the tie bars and do have an issue with not being able to get your clamp on, this clamp it does the job. It does not damage your clamp stretching. Being the most affordable tie bars, we did not sacrifice any quality. We did sacrifice margin over quality just because we did want these to be extremely affordable but the highest quality we hated that titanium was such a good product but it was so hard to get and it was so limited and so expensive so this is exactly what that is for it is to solve the issue in the market where titanium is ridiculously expensive it is now affordable and looks amazing we are stoked that we've been able to get all of the colors like the gold is just bling bling it looks super nice I personally love the Neochrome, I've always loved Neochrome, but then you've also got your basic colors. Overall, we are absolutely stoked how these bars came out. If you guys do want some of these bars, they are available online in all sizes and all colors. So jump on them quick. We've got a huge amount of stock at the moment. We are not too sure when we are getting a new shipment though. So you do want to be quick if you do want to get a pair of these. Also, thank you to everybody that pre-ordered these bars. Um, your pre-orders got sent out the minute they arrived, so you should be receiving them now and they are popping up on Instagram, so don't miss out on these bad boys.